You probably clicked on this video because you are looking for a UPS, you are in the research phase and you are not sure which UPS to get and you are probably tired of not having internet during load shedding in South Africa. So in this video I will take you through this Gizu brand of a UPS, it is quite popular. So I will also go through whether this router or sorry this UPS is compatible with multiple voltages. So if your fiber box and your router are two different voltages, is this still compatible? And also a very important question is, you know with the st st stages of load shedding getting higher how long will this battery last and can it push you right up to four or even six hours and also lastly we'll go through how to actually connect this ups to your router and your fiber box i'm sure you guys must have noticed by now but this is called the gizu 30 watt mini dc 38 watt hour ups and uh, let's just zoom in a bit closer you can see it is powered by a lithium ion battery so it's fine to keep it powered all the time it's got six dc outputs it supports usb charging in case you need to charge your phone as well and it says here that it powers your router for up to 3.8 hours and mine i think it actually powers it more and it's got a multi-voltage output range and as we mentioned it's got a 30 watt max output and there's the name again if you missed it the gizu 30 watt mini dc 38 watt hour ups Guys, when you turn the back around, the box around, sorry, you get a description of what this router is and it shows you a block here. So very importantly, it shows you the battery capacity is 10.4, 10,400 milliamp hours and it gives you some information on the battery. On the top here, it actually tells you what is a UPS and basically it will power your devices during a power outage and for example, load shedding. So now let's just zoom in a bit on the features and see what this router actually is all about. Let's just quickly go through a few features. Now because this has a USB port, you can keep your mobile devices charged. You can power CCTV cameras as well. Because it has multiple DC output, it's compatible with a wide range of devices and very importantly, it has short circuit protection. I know you guys are very eager to see how it looks inside the box. So very quickly, estimated runtime 3.8 hours and then it tells you the package contents. You get all your adapters. I'll show you that now. Okay, now for how it actually looks inside. So as soon as you open the box, you'll see it's still in its plastic covering as it's brand new. Now we've opened it, that's how the device looks on the top. I'll just flip it over, then you can have a look and see uh, what kind of port it has. So let's just turn it over. You'll see it's got the four DC outputs. You've got there's a USB, it's got a five volt output, and then it's got a nine volt slash 12 volt. So you've got a selector there, and then there's where it powers up by the green sign. These are the cables it comes with. So there it's a two prong uh, power adapter that's to power the actual UPS. At the bottom here you'll see these are the actual cables that you use to power up your router and your fiber box. It also very importantly does come with this user manual but it's actually quite easy to set up. Even for someone which is you don't have an electric background it just shows you basically what you can power up. And very importantly the main thing it says is make sure that the port you connect it to so if your router is 5 volts or 9 volts make sure that you connect it to the correct output and input accordingly that's the most important thing guys let's close the box that's the end of this video just kidding i'm still going to show you uh, how you power this thing up and i'll speak about how long does it actually last don't worry it's not the end stick around just a few more seconds and we'll be done this is how it looks when it's in action you'll see there are display lights in green so the status light will turn red when there is a power outage that first cable there you see that's the power cable and then the other two will be connected to the router and the fiber box accordingly so you can see the black ports are where it enters and then you connect your router to the fiber box with the blue cable or whatever color cable you have and you are good to go before we end this video just some last few comments so as you can see now, this UPS is applicable and will work if your router and your fiber box are two different voltages, for instance, 5 and 12 or 5 and 9. And also, if your UPS, I mean, if your um, your fiber box or your router is maybe a half amp or one amp and the UPS pushes out three amps, it's fine. It'll still work. It's not going to blow anything. And also, previously, what you'll notice now is that your UPS, sorry, your fiber box and your router would have been connected separately with two separate um, uh, two prong cables. But here in this case, you'll just take the UPS, it'll have one two prong, you plug that into the wall. And then so basically that will draw the power and then you connect your fiber box and your and your router directly to the UPS. So you keep it plugged in and then because then it will keep your UPS on charge the entire time once load shedding kicks in there wouldn't be a lag automatically your status light will turn red and then the source of power for your router and your fiber box will be the UPS. And when I've used it for about two or two and a half hours the 75% status was still flashing. I know it says they're 3.8 hours but I think you can get away with more but obviously depending on how many amps your router and your Wi-Fi is and how much electricity it does absorb and how much of the battery it uses. 
guys we have reached the end of this video i really hope you found it informative and your search for a ups has ended on this video and you are convinced to buy this one i have no affiliates with it i just thought that it worked for me so um hopefully it'll work for you if you have used a gizu or any other ups's please comment below and let me know what your experience was and how it's helping you during load shedding please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this